Welcome back. My name is Dr. Carl Baird, and today I'll be showing you how to build core strength when you're dealing with shoulder pain. So the reason I wanted to make this video is that some of the safest and most effective exercises to build core strength to limit impact that goes through your joints do involve the shoulder. I'm thinking planks and side planks are the two most common, but there are other ones as well. And what I find is that those are difficult to perform if you have some shoulder pain or your shoulder's not quite strong enough to hold that position. So what I'll do in today's video is give you eight exercise alternatives that you can use to build strength without needing to use your shoulder at all. So let's go ahead and get started. The easiest way to build strength if you're dealing with shoulder pain is just to choose variations that you perform on your back. So the first one that I'll show you today is the dead bug. This is kind of the entry level beginner exercise that's safe and doesn't require your shoulder. So to perform, you're on your back, you're in this 90-90 position where my hips are flexed to 90, my knees are bent to 90, my arms are directly out in front, and then all we're gonna do is drop one leg while we drop the opposite arm. So if I'm dropping my left leg, my right arm also goes back, and then I bring it back to that 90-90 position and repeat on the other side. The only thing you're looking for is that you maintain this spinal position. You don't let your pelvis rock forward and really arch your back off the ground while you're performing the movement. Another great core strengthening exercise that you can perform on your back and not use your shoulder is a simple leg hold. So again, we're on our back this time. Our feet are directly out in front of us. And then all we're going to do is lift our legs and hold in this position. Now I will mention one thing that you do have to have a certain amount of foundational strength to hold this. What we don't want is again, that pelvis to rock forward and our lower back to arch because that's going to contribute to lower back pain, which is the opposite. But if you're strong enough to hold this position, this is a great way to strengthen your core without having to use your shoulder. Another great core exercise that you can perform on your back is called the hollow rock. Now this is an advanced exercise, so I wouldn't recommend you start here unless you're already feeling pretty strong in that core. So to perform, it's gonna be similar to our leg hold, but this time we're gonna lift our legs and lift our arms, and we're just gonna rock back and forth. So we're thinking of ourselves as a giant bowl. <laughs> at least that's what I think of myself as. Now again, it's easier if you bring your legs up and arms up, but the lower you drop them, the more difficult it's going to be. And just like other exercises, what you're really watching for is that you maintain that spinal position. Don't let your pelvis rock forward to overextend at the back because that'll contribute to lower back pain. Go ahead and give that one a try. One of my favorite alternatives to the side plank exercise that targets the same muscle groups without putting a lot of stress on the shoulders is the Paloff press. So to perform this exercise, you're gonna need a band and you're gonna to need to be able to hook it to a pole or a wall. From there, you're gonna hold the band at your chest level, take a few steps out so there's tension on the band. And from there, it's just simply pressing the band directly out in front and bringing it back. So you're gonna feel this in your obliques on the inside, it's preventing the band from pulling you inward. So give that one a try, let me know what you think. Another great thing you can do to strengthen your core when you're dealing with shoulder pain is to focus on other aspects of your core. So it's important to remember, your core just isn't your abs, it's also your glutes and your postural muscles, and that gives us a lot more core strengthening exercises we can use to when we're dealing with shoulder pain and we can't do things like planks and side planks. So that makes the glute bridge a great core exercise. This is one where we're on our back, knees are bent, feet flat on the floor, and from there, we're just pressing through our feet. And again, we're targeting those glutes, which is a really important core muscle that sets the foundation for our pelvic alignment and spinal alignment and helps limit joint pain as well. So give this one a try. Let me know what you think. Another aspect of your core that you can strengthen when you're dealing with shoulder pain are the postural muscles or your spinal erector muscles, these muscles that run along your back here. And so a great exercise you can do are called back extensions. For this one, we're on our stomach. Our hands will be right outside of our shoulders. We try to relax our legs as much as we can. And from there, we're just going to lift our back up off the mat. And we want to 
Feel that contraction in our postural muscles there, and back down. And with this one, just make sure you keep your chin tucked and you're not extending at the neck and looking forward that way because that can contribute to some neck pain, which we want to avoid. Another great way to strengthen your core when you're dealing with shoulder pain is to pick full body strengthening exercises that don't directly target your core, but do get the core involved. So you're building core strength while you're performing them. An example would be a farmer's carry or a weighted carry. And again, this is a great one for your shoulder as well because it strengthens your shoulders a bit without requiring a lot of movement. So usually not too much stress on the shoulder joint itself to perform. I got a weight in each hand, slight grip on the weight, rolling my shoulders back so my shoulders should feel nice and compact. And then I'm just walking slowly forward and I would turn around and come backward if I had enough space. Main thing is when you're walking, you're keeping that nice strong position and not letting your body rock back and forth like that. Give it a try. Let me know what you think. Another great full body strengthening exercise that doesn't directly target your core muscles, but does require a good amount of core strength to perform is the kettlebell deadlift. And this is an example where actually the heavier you go, the better, as long as you can maintain good form to perform, you're going to have your feet on the outside of the kettlebell. You're going to send your hips back and then bend the knees. And so what's important here is before you lift, you're maintaining that abdominal brace. And that's where you're going to get a lot of that core activation. And then from there, pressing through the feet to stand up, to set it down. It's the same thing. I'm sending the hips back and then bending the knees to get it to the floor. So there you have it. There's eight exercises you can use to strengthen your core when you're dealing with shoulder pain. So just to recap some of the highlights, the first thing is to choose exercises that you perform on your back that don't use your shoulder at all. The second is to focus on anti-rotation exercises like the Paloff Press. Third, focus on other aspects of your core like your glutes and your postural muscles. That'll give you a lot more options for core exercises. And lastly, full body functional strengthening exercises like carries and lifts. They don't directly target your core, but do require a good amount of core strength to perform, which make them good options. So there you have it. My name is Dr. Carl Baird. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'm happy to help. Thank you so much for watching. Hey guys, it's Dr. Carl Baird here, and I wanted to thank you for watching our previous video and supporting our channel. Now, if you're somebody who's looking to build strength to solve joint pain, keep active, and maintain your lifestyle as you get older, be sure to subscribe to our channel to watch all of our new videos. You won't find it anywhere else.